this week on CFO Learning Pro, sort with a formula. Actually, I have two different ways to do this today. A couple weeks ago, I had a formula here to figure out who had the largest amount of sales and that was using max, uh, but I'm going to switch to something else. Uh, equal large, the large of this array over here, press F4, comma, and I want the first largest item. I could have just put a 1 there, but I'm going to uh, um, point to this cell. So, of course, we have the 1 here. I hold down the control key and drag. That fills the 1 to 1 to 9. And then uh, this large function will give me the largest item, which is the same as the max, but then the second largest, third largest, fourth largest, fifth largest. This is a great little technique. There's also small if you need the smallest item or the second smallest item. And then to get the person's name, so we need to go find this 2456. Uh, in this list, it's the third item in the list, and then grab the third item from this list. Uh, that is a match to figure out where it is, and an index. The place where this particular method falls apart, though, is if there is a tie. Uh, both people, so let's just put in a thousand here, control enter. Uh, so the thousand appears twice, but they're both credited to Eddie. So if you're going to potentially have ties, uh, then we can fall back on the rank function, the rank of C2 within this whole range, C2 to C10 and then count how many times in column C above us, that's dollar sign one to no dollar sign one is equal to C2. Uh, that way, if there is a tie, we'll give these two people a thousand, uh, they will have different numbers. And then over here, it's just a simple V lookup uh, to go look up the uh, rank and return the result. So two different ways, uh, using uh, rank and V lookup or using large and index and match.